you know, this week was a little bit of a rough week, as you guys, you know, ascertained. And I just, I really want to start out this happy hour today by saying thank you. I really mean it because I, I was feeling really demoralized this week. I was feeling like none of what I'm doing matters. I was looking at these numbers saying that people are way more interested in like the YouTube drama content than they are in things that I think are far more important. And it, w- it, it hit me very hard because, again, I, I really hope people understand that nothing that I've done this week has been about money. In fact, I would make significantly more money if I focused on the YouTube drama content than if I focused on the important content. And that was really like, it, it, the, the, motive, the motive wasn't to make more money, but the motive was to say, like, if no one appreciates what I'm doing, like, why am I even doing it anymore? Because it was, I was really struggling. And, um, and so I did a couple of streams about it and I talked about it. And I'm really glad that I did because, and it's not that I still don't have the views that I think autistic sex ed deserves. I think that, I think that I'm, I'm still really upset and really sad that more people aren't taking this seriously or that every time I talk about it, I get told that I just want money. And I'm like, do you, do you idiots know how much more money I could make doing other things? Do you, do you seriously have any idea? No, it's never been about the money. It's been about feeling that my work is valuable because the thing about like, I don't like wasting my time. If I'm going to do something and I'm going to spend time doing it and I'm going to put energy doing it, I'm, I, I want it to be for a reason and I want it to be for a purpose and I want it to be helpful to people. And so I finally talked about how I was feeling about this and I didn't get the views I wanted on autistic sex education, but what I did get was a record number of new supporters on my sub stacks. Like, and I really didn't anticipate that at all. It, it, it was not, but it was just like, like, you know, the emails that I saw coming in, it was like, ding, new supporter, ding, new supporter, ding, new supporter, ding, new supporter. I have now had a 57% month over month increase in paid supporters on my Substack, And actually it's probably even gone up more now. I just looked at it earlier, but it's probably even gone up more. And seeing that really unexpected response, it told me that there are people out there that value what I do. Maybe not as many people as I would like. Maybe I, I can't help and show as many people as I like what's going on but it really did make me feel as though people valued what I do and I do appreciate it. And then I heard from people like Ellen, Carlin, I got off the pod and I'm school researching. All this silliness is everywhere. It is everywhere. It is everywhere. I heard from people like, I mean, let me see, let me see what other, what other good chats do I have? Let's see. I saw Judy earlier. Judy said, I canceled my locals and added another Substack support, but then I added my locals back because I was missed you guys. Judy, you have been such an amazing supporter since like basically day one. And I just hope you know how much I appreciate you and your knitting. But also just like I I'm just I'm really I'm blown away and I really I really, really appreciate it. Leonard also has two Substack subscriptions. Ellen just joined locals and Substack. And it's just like, and, and, and I also heard, and this is probably one of the most important things I heard from multiple people, like what Amanda's saying here, I, I, I heard from, I heard from multiple people saying, Carlin, I took my kids out of school because of you. And Amanda said, I started homeschooling my son and quit working as a teacher in 2021. Thanks to your work. Thank you. I heard from so many people who who said, I took my kids out of school because of you. I really didn't know that. I really didn't know that it was having that impact. I really didn't. Lady Hawk says, you inspired me to start looking for socialist conferences in my area. I want to infiltrate those someday. <laughs> and and so I just want to say thank you. I really do. It really, it, 
this is a thankless job. And I understand why people get burnt out. I really understand why people get burnt out. Cody says, there was a guy on Twitter that said that, actually. You inspired him and his husband to homeschool his kid. Yeah. Julie says, I don't have kids. I have a niece whose parents are getting pretty woke, so conversations are impossible. I can't help this kid, but I love more than life itself, but I can try to help, and you can try to help me, and I thank you. I really do. I really do. And it's not just about money because I because I understand that not everyone can financially support my work. I really do. And and I, I, I really get that. I wish everyone could could I mean, but like, you know, it's 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 rough sometimes and I get it. And I think that if if like you can't afford to financially support my work, the very best thing you can do is, again, just like watch stuff like even if you're just watching a few seconds of a video because that still registers. Watch video like watch my stuff, like it, share it. Like, those things are just as valuable, and I really, really do appreciate it. And so I just, I guess I just wanted to start off today by saying thank you guys, because I really needed it, and I understand, I understand how, especially now, it's like we're in between election seasons, it can be really easy to just want to check out of all of this stuff. And I, and I get it. You want to focus, you just want to like have a real life and just like, you know, be normal people and not be thinking about like dystopia all the time. I really do get it. But I appreciate that it seems to have reinvigorated some people to be paying attention because I do think that this is important and I don't think we have enough time left to really like, like if people aren't paying attention and they're just kind of zoning out, they're going to win. Like they're already so far ahead. And I'm really glad that I was able to, um, to hopefully reinvigorate some people. And I think the changes that are going to come from this are going to be good. I do. I do. And yeah, that's going to mean that I'm going to be doing some content that is more designed around views. Um, but I'm still going to be doing happy hour. I'm still going to be doing socialism Saturday. I'm still figuring out what this looks like. And of course, we still have the sub stacks, which are going to be my home base. And guys, if you are not subscribed to my sub stack, you can head over and subscribe at Carlin, K-A-R-L-Y-N dot substack dot com. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. And I will go ahead and put the link in the chat. And this is where you are going to be able to get all of my very best unwoke content. Now, I do have other sub stacks as well, but this is kind of like the home base, the the king, the king of all sub stacks, if you will. And um, and and so this is where I'm publishing like the be very best of my unwoke content. I'm trying to download everything I know to you. Last night, I published the socialist reading list, which is a, 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 a an article basically showing you the new socialism books that are coming out and the books I saw at the socialism conference to include. Guys, did you know that Antifa has a coloring book? Antifa literally has a coloring book. Antifa also has their own tarot cards. I'm not joking. Joshua is thrilled at this. And so I published that last night on the Substack. I've actually got Lady Hawk. Lady Hawk mentioned that she wants to infiltrate socialist conferences. I've actually got an article in progress right now that's all about here's what you need to know if you are going to infiltrate a socialist conference, like how you show up, how you act, how you detach yourself from what's going on to just observe all that. So I am actually working on an article about that. And of course, we're doing lots of more great stuff, too. If you guys want to head over to carlin.substack.com and check it out. And of course, you can also find four ways to support my work, to include funding my work on Substack or whatever platform works best for you, to include subscribing to the cult. The cult, which is going to need to get refreshed. There, there it is. The cult is a different Substack I have. And this is basically where I'm, it's my home base for the show. And this is totally for free. This is a mailing list that you can get signed up to where prior to the show, I will send out an update saying, here's what we're doing on the show today. Here are the show notes. Here are the platform links that you can watch on on YouTube, Odyssey, Rockfin, Rumble. And shout out to everyone watching on Odyssey, Rockfin, and Rumble. I appreciate it, guys. And that way you'll have it all in your inbox and you'll know what I'm talking about. So you can decide if you want to come to the show today or not but I'm really trying to do this before every show. I missed it yesterday because I was just way too busy, but but I, I've been doing it for every other show lately. It really works out well. It's totally free. I may monetize it at some point just if people want a way to donate. I know that many people have actually already pledged their support on this, which is really great, um, but uh, it's not monetized right now. It's totally for free. It's just to help you guys 
to be able to, because many of you have told me YouTube is not notifying you of my content. Okay, well, I've got a backup. <laughs> so go, go get subscribed to the cult and you'll get an email every single day um, when I'm going to go live with what I'm going to be going live with. I'm also building out a video archive on the cult. I'm building out an audio podcast. I got a whole bunch of stuff. I need to upload it uh, to it in the next couple of days that I've been like kind of dragging my feet on, but that's all right. Um, but lots going on over there. Another way you can support my work is by heading over to the Unwoke Art Store, which is unwokeart.com. And this is my merch store. We got great merch. We got the Be Different mug. We got the Dragon Burning Down Washington, D.C., the special Tucker Carlson collection. And guys, I'm going to be extending the Unwoke Art Contest just one week. It's been a heck, a heck of a week, and so I want to give people one last chance to join the Unwoke Art Contest, which is on unwokeart.substack.com. I know people are like, I already got my entry in, Carlin, and, but, but I forgot I forgot it was going to be May. I forgot. And so we're going to be doing that. And then, of course, sharing my work is basically the number one thing that you can do to help me out. And I do really appreciate that, guys.